and the local police department caught in the middle of politics. This he was trying to prevent somebody that was selling illegal license plates to get arrested. He didn't want someone that was selling illegal license plates to get arrested. These were tempor temporary license plates. <coughs> now, what would people need temporary license plates for? I mean, now, since they're temporary, then they just probably go in and back out of the system. There may be no permanent record of them. That would be my guess um, why that would be such an uh, important, you know, or what, what, what would be the use? What would be the purpose? What would you use those for? To sell cars, like, you know, without paying taxes, uh, illegal immigrants, being able to get temporary illegal tags. What would be the real purpose? I don't know. Could it have to do with human trafficking, drug smuggling? What would be the purpose? I don't know. Where do you think that that, head, that leads? Think about it. The highways. Think about it. This is something that that was pretty uh, disturbing to myself, my investigator, and also my, my other staff member. Madisonville Police Chief Herbert Gilbert is referring to a request one of his investigators got from the Madison County District Attorney. Hold off on making in order to uh, help him obtain local vote. The arrest he's speaking of. Now, you know, to me, that's just kind of like the Martha Stewart thing. Asking them to hold off on arresting him when it, it really isn't uh, on the surface. It doesn't look like a serious crime. I mean, it's not a violent crime, um, but it, there's probably something real sinister behind it. But for a politician who could, like, lose the election because of this issue, yeah, I could see him, uh, you know, uh, asking for that kind of a favor. I mean, it's no different than what a judge could do. I mean, you know, uh, depending on how high of a position of office he's uh, running for, I mean, you, you, you would think that would be a higher position than a judge. But, you know, a judge could put that off. A judge could say, yeah, uh, you know, well, we're going to give you three months before you have to turn yourself in or, you know, whatever. So I don't see that as being that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Um, because the person in question of committing the crime is not the person being elected. But it does affect uh, voter, you know, um, opinion and position. And that's not really fair, I mean, honestly, to the person that's running. Um, but, yeah. Terry Davis, the husband of Madisonville City Councilwoman Terry Davis. He was under investigation for selling temporary tags. An audio obtained by... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Never mind. ...ABTX, District Attorney Rissinger, asked that Davis not be arrested until after the election. Since, that, since he's got an offense that's not a threat to public safety... Would it be a big he says some some words I can't mention. If you waited. But it, you know, in all actuality, it might be an issue of public safety. We don't know the reason for these plates. After the election, to arrest that guy. That guy and his wife were going to try to help me in the black community get some votes. And you know, if it was a thing that he was charged with, you know, I don't know, sexual assault or murder. Or oh, can't say that. I wouldn't even be calling to ask that, but you know if, and y'all can and y'all can still say I don't I don't care. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. Right. It's just you know if I can get some help in the election, I'd like to try to get some help. And if it's he's under indictment, that's really gonna put me in a pickle with him. Chief Gilbert and the Madisonville Police Department turned the audio over to the Texas Rangers Public Integrity Unit. We just saw Public Integrity Unit. I'm definitely gonna make a note of that.